Nahi? Thank you, Kelsey. Uh, I'll try to share as briefly as possible about our campaign. Uh, hello, everyone. So the idea was to address the prejudice, prejudice that surrounds the communities of different sects and religions in Pakistan uh, through meaningful engagement to increase understanding between religious minorities and the majority uh, who, are in, who are Muslims. So it was our observation that there are certain stereotypes that surround minorities and have a major role, role in discrimination against them. But the challenge was how to do it creatively, how to not follow that awareness and training sessions routine and come, with, come up uh, uh, with something tangible and something long lasting. So we came up with the, the idea of local thematic tours where we could take young people of Islamabad to uh, different religious and sect heritage and communities engage them in conversation, which will lead to debunking stereotypes uh, uh, about those minorities. Uh, and to further augment the diverse perspective, we decided to run a social media campaign simultaneously. It was observed that due to unacceptance of by larger population, uh, these minority communities have shelved themselves, which is affecting their social economic well-being as well. So it was necessary to include them in the process. First step for this campaign, uh, we, we, uh, we met with the minority influencers to bring them on board. Uh, we visited churches, Hindu temples, Imam Barga, and Bahi. Uh, there's another community, Bahi, residing in uh, Islamabad. Uh, and uh, we met with the religious figures there and discussed our campaign. Uh, at first, some agreed and some were reluctant, the, uh, uh, given that the, how they are treated, how they are they're discriminated. But uh, with constant outreach and meetings, the majority were on board. So meanwhile, we devised a selection criteria for the young visitors. Uh, we ran, uh, we ran uh, an online registration campaign and reached out to young people in our network too. Uh, we categorized the participants in three. 70% uh, of the participants uh, whom we were taking for the tour were uh, uh, those who had never been to uh, uh, other religious uh, heritages, other com religious communities other than them themselves and remaining 30% were those who either had some exposure or have some uh, uh, openness towards uh, those uh, minorities. Also uh, in our visitors uh, uh, group, uh, it was not just Muslim majority, but we also included participants from religious uh, other religious background, uh, backgrounds as well. Uh, this was kind of our risk mitigation strategy in case uh, someone, uh, if, so, if uh, someone poses a question uh, which might hurt the, the, the visiting, uh, uh, the host uh, community. So these participants who have some exposure will be helping, uh, will be mitigating the situation and uh, uh, controlling them. So we organized two one-day trips on weekends. Uh, gathered participants at one venue for breakfast and shared the details of trip, also the do and zones. Uh, th those were necessary because uh, we, uh, we, were, we, were, uh, uh, we didn't want to hurt our host uh, religious feelings. Uh, then we made sure that trip is not just entertaining, but uh, a learning ex exercise too. So for that, at every visiting venue, religious uh, influencers of respective faith uh, discuss the cultural values of their communities, their religion. Uh, this interaction helped a lot in, de in debunking many stereotypes about the respective community. In parallel, we continue to highlight young achievers from different faith, their views, et cetera, on the social media. So this is all about what we did uh, under a diversity tour. So the takeaways from all this is uh, include target communities you're working for in the process. Think out of the box 
look around for how how available resources that can be used for in innovative intervention. And important thing is, which I missed uh, uh, before, is uh, to look for in-kind support. Looks uh, in-kind support from the within the communities that you are working for, and also some as uh, some supportive uh, uh, resources like we did. Uh, we uh, we contacted a, a, a local tea cafe, Chalo which provided us uh, their space as a gathering point for our participants. It was a great help uh, because the place was well known and easily accessible. So this is all about the diversity to us. Thank you. 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 Thank you